allowing the first chapter of my course about Queen's Indian Defense. Today we are going to see some uh, illustrative uh, games, uh, which I think uh, that they are a very good uh, example uh, how you can uh, play in this uh, opening, some typical structures, some typical ideas, uh, etc. So the first uh, game will be between uh, Levon Aronian and Magnus uh, Carlsen, which was uh, played in uh, Moscow in 2011. So let's move on. d4, knight f6, c4, e6. Knight f3, b6. This is of course uh, the starting uh, position of uh, whole Queen's Indian defense. Here we move g3. This is uh, the main move uh, for white, which will be analyzed in details in this uh, course. Uh, just for this uh, chapters, uh, I'm not going to show you any theoretical uh, variations or anything uh, like that, because uh, as I mentioned, I just wanted to show you uh, some uh, typical ideas, uh, some typical uh, structures, etc. Bishop a6. This will be also our choice against move g3. Uh, I am going to show you ag again to, to, to tell it again. I'm not focusing on the theory, on the theory, uh, but just wanted to mention that uh, we are going to play it uh, anyway. B3, also the most uh, common move against move bishop to a6. And b5, uh, not the most uh, common move uh, here. Uh, I faced it uh, one uh, against uh, GM Smirnov uh, with white uh, pieces. Uh, idea is uh, clear, just to get uh, rid of the c4 pawn. Uh, still it seems uh, to me artificial, artificial and this is uh, why we will have other plan uh, which are going uh, to see in next chapters. Uh, general play and character of uh, position doesn't uh, change uh, much uh, also comparing to our repertoire. So still this game uh, is a good example of the uh, possibilities in Queen's Indian. Cb5, bishop b5, bishop g2, d5. Just closing the long diagonal for this uh, well placed bishop on g2. Castle, knight bd7. Uh, Black obtained nice uh, control of the center and his uh, development is uh, very smooth. The only pro problem is uh, the a pawn, uh, which might become a problem, especially in endgame. He is isolated uh, from other pawns and he can just uh, be easily targeted. Knight c3, bishop a6. Knight e5, bishop d6. After this uh, move, uh, white has a chance uh, to get uh, some advantage. And this is uh, for sure some inaccuracy from Magnus Carlsen. Uh, c6 uh, is a very nice uh, little tactical trick. It is based on uh, the move knight c6. Uh, of course, white is not losing, uh, not winning uh, the pawn, because after queen c7, he has to just go back with a knight and queen c3. White just uh, lost uh, the knight, and as I said, this is the point of the tenth move of black. Uh, but there is also an alternative, uh, which is move knight d3. Uh, white would like to control the c5 square, uh, but black is uh, too much concentrated around the square, um, and this simply fails. The play might continue with bishop e7, bishop b2, castle rook c1, rook c8, queen d2, h6, rook fd1, c5, and this is for sure some kind of equality. Knight d7 is also a possibility and it looks uh, quite logical. Uh, here black just takes back on d7. Rook e1, bishop e7, e4. White tries to open up a position uh, in the center. Castle, bishop b2, rook c8. Rook c1, knight b6. h4. Queen d7. Black can wait uh, for opponent and strike uh, with uh, move c5. Of course, at the right uh, moment when the wood will be uh, prepared uh, well. For instance, if uh, white would like uh, to push e5. After bishop d6, uh, in the game happened move bishop f4. Uh, this is still a fine uh, move, uh, the second, uh, second good move. But knight c6 was uh, even stronger. White gets uh, some nice uh, bind on queen side. Let's have a look. Queen c8, a3, 
Uh, and uh, here, queen b7, uh, just to chase uh, this knight, is not a good idea because after knight a5, queen b6, b4, c6, rook e1, castle e4. There is just a huge positional advantage. Black's uh, pawn structure is um, definitely not so good looking, it is completely not uh, intact, and uh, this is, of course, just problematic uh, for black. And if uh, castle, which uh, seems a little bit better, but also here after b4, uh, thanks to the perfect control of the c5 square, um, white uh, just has a good uh, prospects. Knight b6, rook e1, queen d7, knight e5, queen e8. Uh, if bishop e5, uh, just at least uh, try to release the tension at least a little bit, but then d5. Knight g4, queen d4. Very nice move, attacking the knight on g4 and also defending the pawn on e5. Then f5, a3. Knight h6. Takes, takes. a4, black is completely without any counterplane. His uh, pawn structure looks uh, just uh, horrible. e5 square is uh, terribly weak. Of course, this is uh, something really bad for black. We should avoid such positions uh, for sure. And if uh, queen e8, queen c2, c6, e4, and again white looks uh, very good uh, thanks to control of the c5 square and also to some nice uh, activity in the center. As I mentioned, uh, bishop f4 is still a fine move, uh, also gives some advantage uh, to white, but knight c6 was uh, much more convincing. Castle rook c1, bishop e5, d5, knight h5, uh, knight a4, this is uh, again uh, some bad decision this time from white. Uh, bishop e3 was a very good uh, pawn sacrifice, which might not look uh, obvious at first sight. Actually, white just sacrifices the pawn and he does not get uh, any forced win or anything like that. Um, knight e5, just to mention that this is uh, the only move, um, at least black will suffer for a pawn, not uh, for free. Queen d4, knight g6. Queen a4, bishop b7, queen b4, bishop a6 and queen a3. Uh, this is of course typical engine play, it's uh, not too obvious uh, for a human, uh, but uh, the aim of that is to just to improve queen's position to maximum. We can see it in the line bishop b7, knight b5, c6, and if queen is on a3, not on a4, then knight on d6 uh, has a perfect spot. Queen c7, queen c5, the control of dark squares uh, is just fantastic. Uh, knight on h5 and g6 um, are standing just bad. This is why this position is um, probably al already much better for white even that he is just a pawn down, but he'll just regain it quite easy on c6. So knight a4, knight f4, gf4, bishop b5, knight c5 takes, rook c5 and c6. Black's position became uh, fine and uh, fully playable, uh, and uh, he can start thinking uh, about taking uh, over some initiative, even. Queen d2, queen b6, hitting the c5 rook, but of course white uh, wanted to double rooks uh, on the c file anyway. Uh, a5 and e4. White is uh, trying to, to focus on kingside and to create uh, there some uh, counterplay. Uh, such a move like uh, a4 didn't uh, give uh, too much because black can just go back with a bishop and there is a weakness on b3. Or even think about playing uh, maybe some such, such move like bishop c4. a4 and f5. Uh, white could also release uh, tension and uh, exchange uh, some pawns uh, with ba4, with uh, ed5, cd5 and f5 or something like that. Uh, but pushing on king state is uh, quite ambitious and uh, fully uh, playable. ab3, but f6, uh, this just misses 
probably blocks uh, replay and this is uh, way too over ambitious. AB3 was, uh, was the right move. And here black uh, would be forced to find uh, totally not, not an obvious move, uh, the move d4. This is uh, the only move which uh, saves the day for black. Because if uh, h6, this is uh, quite an unexpected, uh, just a mistake. Ed5, cd5, f6. Rook a1, trying to exchange uh, some rooks. But then rook from 5 to c3. Takes queen c1, g5, h4, and it looks uh, really dangerous uh, for black um, for sure. If, uh, if the placement of black's uh, king is uh, not so good, um, and there are a lot of uh, different threats. So d4 was uh, the only move, and then uh, again, there are two possibilities uh, here on f6. There is a move like h6, and we see the point of playing the move d4, uh, so it uh, breaks the coordination of uh, white's pieces. Of course, there is no move uh, rook c3, because uh, pawn on d4 controls the c3 square. After fg, king g7, queen d4, king h7, queen e3, rook g8, with uh, sufficient uh, play for the pawn. Uh, and if uh, queen d4, which uh, of course uh, looks uh, pretty obvious, then rook a d8, queen e3, rook d3, queen f4, queen d8, bishop f1, rook b3, f6, h6. The game is uh, actually even uh, king uh, feels, uh, feels safe on g8. There are no clear uh, mating threats. Um, and this was just uh, okay for black. But of course also fine for white, because after f6, uh, as I said, after move queen c5. This is the perfect reply uh, from black, uh, and here it is white who has to start thinking uh, how to save the game. But he found uh, the move uh, which, uh, which is uh, still uh, fine, this is move a4. This was uh, the only move not to lose almost uh, instantly. Of course, rook c5 uh, is bad because b a2 and this pawn is going to queen. Queen g5, a1, queen. Not bishop f1 because there will be a mate in one after queen f1. Bishop on b5 uh, is uh, in, on a good spot. Rook c1 takes takes. h6. And White's attack uh, came to an end, and uh, he is left uh, with uh, some vulnerable pawns. And this position is, of course, very difficult for him. So A4 is uh, for sure a very nice uh, retort from uh, Levon Aronian. Queen C1, Queen C1, and B2. Uh, just uh, forcing the queen to, to go back from the king on G8. Of course, queen has to take this pawn. Rook a4, but queen c1 is a very bad uh, mistake. Now black is uh, almost winning. Ed5 here was uh, the right decision. And here black has a choice. If rook from f uh, to a8, with a nice uh, threat of uh, rook a1, or even rook uh, g4, or, or anything like that, probably rook a1 would be even better. Then a3, to, uh, to prevent that, uh, that threat. E d5, bishop d5, c d5, queen b5, gf, ef, king h8, the position is just equal. Uh, and if e d5 immediately, then uh, f g7, rook e8, and also there are some mass uh, simplifications, well, we, uh, which are just going to end with an equal game after king g7. Probably Levan Oronian uh, wanted uh, still to play for a win, but uh, he misses uh, the moment in which he could obtain uh, some equal game. But also Magnus Carlsen reacts uh, with uh, not uh, the best uh, move, gf6. Uh, thanks to this move, uh, white will have chances uh, for perpetual check. h6 uh, was needed to play 
Black should not be afraid of any ghosts, uh, of any mates, uh, which uh, should, uh, which simply do not exist, um, and uh, he should just bravely play this move. After h4, d4, the pawn is going to be a big problem to white. Bishop f3, d3, queen f4. What now? There are some threats against black's king. But with king h7, king h2, rook g8, rook will safeguard uh, black's uh, king and white simply can't do anything. And again, he just lacks any counterplay. So gf6, uh, h4. Right decision from Aronian. He creates a uh, loft uh, for the king and also uh, h-pawn can help uh, with some mating threats. Rook from f to a8, but king h2 is uh, some. This is a little bit too much prophylaxis uh, to me. Uh, this is the first st step towards losing. Queen h6 uh, was the right decision. After f e5, queen g5, king f8, queen e5, d4, bishop e4, king e8, and there's also such a smart move like uh, f3. Uh, not being afraid of uh, any mates uh, on the second and first rank. There are a lot of uh, chances uh, for chasing uh, black's uh, king and to give uh, a lot of uh, checks. And here actually white uh, has uh, a lot of chances to save the game. d4 from uh, Carlsen. But uh, ef6, uh, this looks obvious, but uh, after that uh, the loss, uh, the loss of the game is um, uh, probably dead definitely. Queen h6 uh, would be a better practical chance. Let's have a look. After f5, queen g5, king, uh, uh, queen f f8, queen h6, king e8, queen h7, rook d8, h5, king e7. Objectively, black uh, should convert uh, the advantage, uh, but uh, there are much uh, more practical, uh, much, much more technical and also practical problems. Um, for instance, the past pawn, the h file, uh, etc. So this was uh, some better chance for white anyway. After e f six, uh, the game should just end uh, in a couple of moves, uh, but uh, still we are going to face uh, some interesting things. King h8, this is uh, a good uh, move. Queen f4 and e3. So far, so good uh, from Magnus Carlsen. Queen e3, rook h4, king g3. Rook h5, king g4, rook f5. Uh, this looks like a desperation from white, and in fact, it is a desperation because uh, black is just winning here. Bishop e4, rook g8. If king h3, then there is of course an immediate mate on h5, so king h4. But rook f6, this is a disaster from uh, for Norwegian. Uh, Carlsen blunders just one move away from winning the game. The right move uh, here was uh, rook from f to g5. This was really simple and uh, only a little bit more patience was needed. The end game after queen g5 takes takes c5, this is uh, totally hopeless, just have a look uh, at some possible variation. King g8, bishop f3, c4. King e3, c3, there are simply no hopes for white. And if bishop f3, uh, this would be a little bit uh, more tenacious, but uh, also lost. c5, bishop h5, rook g1. Bishop f3, c4, queen e5, and c3. Very nice uh, play from black. Queen c3, this uh, pawn has to be, of course, uh, taken. And here, bishop e2. There are a lot of uh, good motives uh, connected uh, with uh, mate on the first rank, and this is one of them. If bishop e2, then, of course, rook h1, mate. So, queen b3 takes, takes. And here, again, there is no need uh, to rush, h6, queen b7, rook from h, uh, from 8 to g6. And uh, there is a very easy win, black is just going to eat this pawn on f6, and this is totally lost. So rook f6, 
This is of course a blunder as I mentioned. Queen c3, king g7, check rook g6. If only bishop g6, uh, then still there would be some nice uh, chances for win. But Orion has a chance to give more checks. Queen g5, queen e5. Unfortunately for black, he can't escape from those checks. King f8, check. Again, check. And king g7 here. Carlson just realized that he cannot escape from this. Uh, and the draw is signed. Quite a dramatic uh, game for sure, uh, but uh, we saw some nice uh, chances uh, from black in this uh, position in the queen's uh, Indian structure. Uh, this can arise uh, from a variation connected with move uh, b5, which not be uh, not is which is not going to be subject of uh, the theory of this uh, course. Uh, but still, I wanted to, to show you this uh, game because that's really interesting and. Uh, shows uh, some uh, some good things about playing Queen's Indian. This means uh, good good light squared bishop, some counterplay on the uh, Queen side, etc. Let's right now move on to the second game. This will be uh, between uh, Boris Gelfand and uh, Garry Kasparov. The game was played in 1997 in Novgorod. D4, Knight F6, C4, E6. Knight f3, b6, a3. Uh, this is the so-called uh, Petrosian system. It, is also, it was also tested uh, by me uh, with white uh, pieces. Uh, the aim is uh, totally clear. It, it just prevents him of uh, bishop b4. Uh, we are going to analyze it uh, in detail in the next uh, chapters. Uh, for today, let's uh, have a look at some uh, practical example. C5. This is a little bit uh, risky. My recommendation will be different, but it's possible to try to undermine uh, white's center immediately. D5, bishop a6. Queen c2, ed5, cd5. G6, knight c3. Bishop g7, g3, castle, bishop g2, d6. Castle, rook e8. Both uh, sides uh, are just completing his uh, development, uh, nothing special is uh, happening so far. Rook e1, knight bd7, a3, b5, e4. Of course, the uh, position reminds uh, of a uh, Banoni defense uh, structure is uh, pretty very uh, similar to this opening. Queen c8, bishop f4, b4. Knight a4, and b3. Quite an interesting uh, choice uh, from Garry Kasparov. Uh, I think that this is uh, very much in his uh, style. He tries to open uh, the position as fast as possible. Just to mention that uh, bishop b5 is uh, a good alternative uh, trying to get the advantage of this a uh, little bit uh, bad placed uh, knight on a4. After knight d2, knight h5, bishop e3, a5. G4, knight from uh, 5 to f6. B3, bishop a4, ba4. And uh, here c4 would be uh, possible. The play is uh, going to be very, very complicated. But uh, alright, let's uh, go back to the game. B3 is uh, still a good move. But bishop b5 is a wor was a worthy alternative. Queen b3 and knight e4. For the b-pawn, of course, the black uh, won the e-pawn. Queen c2, knight from d to f6. g4, queen d7. g5, and knight h5. Knight is uh, defended uh, tactically, so black is uh, not going uh, to lose any material. Uh, let's uh, have a look at the possible line after rook e4. Rook e4 and in fact uh, here just uh, trying to win some material would be dubious. Uh, knight c5 would be the right decision just to mention. d c5, queen e4. Takes, takes, rook e8 uh, and this is uh, approximate, uh, approximately equal. And if uh, white wants to be, or at least he is trying to be greedy with queen e4. Then rook e8, knight c5. Uh, it's not possible for only one uh, queen to defend uh, both uh, bishop and uh, knight on the fourth rank. If queen c2, then knight f4. 
Um, and this is, of course, just a problem for white. And here knight c5 is not that good as on the previous move, because here rook e4, knight d7, and rook f4. After knight b8, bishop c4, advantage is obvious, despite that it is white who is uh, currently a pawn up. After bishop h2, so Galfand spotted this uh, possibility. f5, very well played by Kasparov. Uh, and uh, knight c3, this is uh, the important moment of the game, uh, because uh, this is just a misplay from white. You want to go back, of course, uh, with a knight uh, from the ring, but it's not a good moment for it. First, gf6 uh, should be played. Knight on e4 is uh, too strong, so white should not allow to defend it with f5, uh, with f5 pawn. Knight from h to f6. Knight c3. Now it's just a good move. Knight c3, bc3, BC, bishop c4. And here rook e6 uh, would be the move which uh, should secure uh, an equality. Just opening the long diagonal for the bishop from g2. Rook e6, d6, uh, bishop e6, and here knight e5. White is going to win an exchange, but this is not a problem for black. Bishop a8, queen a8, knight g4, and after knight e4, there is a very interesting uh, play for an exchange, and for sure black has compensation. Uh, it is just a double-edged position with chances for both sides. Uh, so knight c3 is um, definitely some bad move. Rook a b8, rook a b1. Uh, but uh, bishop c3, this is actually a mistake uh, this time from Gary Kasparov. Uh, this is a little bit too academical. Uh, white still has a potential for counterplay, so uh, black should not underestimate it. Rook b2 was uh, quite an easy uh, choice from black. Uh, I think that this is a move which should uh, come instantly to Gary uh, consideration. Rook b2, bishop c3, just winning back the material. Rook e4 here is uh, also possible, but it does uh, not uh, give any better chances uh, to white. Queen h3, bishop d6, bishop e2, this is uh, quite unpleasant. Bishop on f3 is uh, pinned uh, because of queen on c3, and uh, black simply looks great here. So rook bb1 might be a little bit uh, better uh, try. But here, bishop e1, rook e1, king f7, multi-purpose move, uh, defending the uh, rook on e8, and also heading with uh, king uh, towards the center. Uh, with a uh, pawn more and uh, but looking uh, bishops on h2 and uh, g2, for sure there is some advantage to black. So bishop c3 is uh, definitely a little bit inaccurate from uh, from black. Bc3, rook b1, rook b1, bishop c4, trying to win the pawn from d5. Uh, and here the decision of uh, Gelfond is the move knight d2. Um, I'm not going to say that this is inaccuracy, but uh, I believe that uh, more in the spirit of position was move rook e1, trying to activate the bishops. Knight g5 here is uh, not uh, frightening, because rook e8, queen e8, uh, obviously not knight g5, because queen e1, and there is a mate, so still white needs to be careful. Uh, but bishop d6 uh, would be a good uh, uh, choice. Then knight e4, bishop e5, bishop d5. c4, bishop c6, queen b2. Bishop on e5 is a monster and it gives a good uh, play for the pawn. And if uh, bishop d5, just collecting uh, the pawn. But here knight d2, bishop c6 takes f4, queen a2, king h8, queen d2. Again, we see some uh, geom geometry from, uh, from black. This is, of course, again, a typical engine play. d5, f3. 
Bishops uh, finally will have uh, targets and this is why uh, white is doing here fine. Uh, but still knight d2 is uh, not uh, destroying anything. Knight d2, queen d2, f4. Very nice uh, tactical resource and uh, pretty unpleasant. Uh, pawn on f4 of course uh, cannot be taken due to the move queen f5 which hits uh, both bishop on f4 and rook on b1. So rook e1, rook e5. But here rook e4 is a fatal blunder. I think that it was uh, not uh, a good day for Boris Gelfand because uh, he played uh, this uh, game below his uh, normal level which is of course uh, very huge. This move actually destroys everything. Rook e5 was uh, still possible. Bishop on h2 was, is going to be in cage, uh, but black needs to be careful not to let him become active again. And this is why after d5, queen e1, queen f5, d6, freeing uh, one of bishops. King f7, queen d1, queen d3. The pawn, of course, uh, needs to be stopped, and uh, this uh, exchange uh, is almost forced. Takes, takes, bishop d5, king e8, bishop c6. If king f7, then bishop d5, king e8, bishop c6, this is just a draw. And if white plays, uh, if black plays on with king d8, then king g2. Knight g7, f3. A very nice uh, maneuvering uh, white obtains uh, equal endgame because uh, both bishops uh, will be back in play. So probably Gelfand was uh, scared of this uh, position that uh, his bishops uh, will be out of play forever, but for sure it was uh, something that uh, needed to be tried. Rook e4 is uh, a fatal blunder, and after queen a3, white is without uh, pawn and without uh, counterplay. Bishop f4 just loses because there is a queen g4, bishop g3, queen e4. Some problems with uh, bishops in this game for sure. So bishop g2, queen g4, queen g1, knight g7, f3, there was a threat of, uh, of f3 and uh, bishop will be lost, so f3, queen g5. Just grabbing another opponent, the rest is uh, just a matter of uh, very easy technique. Queen b1, knight f5, queen b8, queen g7, queen a7, king h6. Flux uh, king on h6 is uh, much safer than the opponents on g1, which uh, sounds pretty strange, but this is just the fact. Queen f7, and here, bishop f1. This is uh, not uh, something, of course, uh, difficult. But still very pretty. Uh, the game didn't last uh, long. Knight e3, king e1. The last uh, trap, not uh, queen g2, because then comes bishop f4. But of course, queen h4, king e2, queen h2, king d3. Again, some trap if uh, queen g2, uh, then queen f4. But knight f5. And this is, of course, a uh, completely lost position. And Boris Gel Gelfand uh, resigned in this uh, hopeless position. Alright, so this was uh, for sure a very nice uh, game from Gary Gasparro, very sharp and very much in his uh, style. Uh, also, we saw some nice ideas uh, which can arise from time to time in Queen's Indian. Uh, also, uh, sometimes uh, we can uh, face some Benoni like structure. Alright, so for today, thank you for watching. Goodbye.